Hi friends, I'm Ellie Falk, the Youth Education Coordinator at the Civic Garden Center. Last week on March 19th, we had the first official day of spring. So I would like to read you a story that's called, And Then It's Spring. It's written by Julie Fogliano and illustrated by Aaron E. Stead. First, you have brown. All around, you have brown. Then, there are seeds. And a wish for rain, and then it rains. And it is still brown, but a hopeful, very possible sort of brown. And is that a little green? No, it's just brown, sort of brown. Then it is a week. And you worry about those little seeds. And if maybe it was the birds, Or maybe it was the bears and all that stomping because bears can't read signs that say things like, please don't stomp here. There are seeds and they are trying. And then it is one more week. And the brown, still brown, has a greenish hum that you can only hear if you put your ear to the ground and close your eyes. And then it is one more week. And a sunny day, that sunny day that happens right after that rainy day, and you walk outside to check on all that brown. But the brown isn't around and now you have green. All around you have green. So now that we have green and it's officially spring, I'm gonna go outside and show you a very simple activity that might help you start a garden where you live. So follow me. I'm outside and I'm going to show you how to make newspaper pots so that you can grow a garden in these little pots. So what you will need, here's an example of one, is a piece of newspaper that you can cut into a piece that is about three inches by ten inches. Once you have that, you'll need something to form your pot around. So an empty can like this will work, or you could also try it with a can of food. This could also be empty or not. So to start, you want to put your can at the bottom edge of your newspaper closest to you and leave about one and a half inches hanging over the bottom of your can and you're going to hold the newspaper onto the can as you roll the can all the way to the end of your newspaper. Once you get to the end of your newspaper, you're going to fold that extra newspaper over the end of your can and then really press that down and start to twist and turn and press into the palm of your hand. And then you can gently slide the newspaper off of your can and now we have our pot. So in order to be able to grow in our pot we need to add some soil. So I have 
potting soil. And this is good for starting seeds with. If you don't have this, you could try finding some soil outside and experiment with that. So you're gonna fill your pot all the way up with soil. And then it's time to choose our seeds. So if you are going to grow your pots and your garden outside now, you can plant things for early spring. Leafy green vegetables are the best thing. So lettuce, spinach, arugula, kale, and Swiss chard would work really well for these pots. If you are going to grow something for later on that needs warmer temperatures like tomatoes, peppers, basil, eggplant, you can put those seeds in and keep your pots inside until about mid-May when it's time to bring them out. I'm going to plant some Swiss chard. So I'm going to take two seeds because in case one of them doesn't grow, hopefully one of the two will. I'm going to make a small hole about half an inch maybe even a quarter of an inch deep with my finger. And I'm going to put one seed in that hole, make a second one and put my other seed in. And I'm covering them up with a little bit of soil and pressing very gently on top. I think it's a good idea to label what you've planted, especially if you're planting lots of things so you can keep track of what is in each pot. So I made this label out of a yogurt container and I wrote today's date on it so I remember when I planted. Now, if you have something like a shoebox, this would be good to collect and hold your pots or you could also use an empty salad container like this if you have one. After that, all we need is water and sunlight for our seeds to grow. So make sure you water them and then remember if you have planted something for early spring, you can keep it outside in a sunny place or if it's something that needs warmer temperatures, keep it inside until it's about mid-May. Hope you enjoyed this friends and give it a try at home. If you have any questions, please reach out and happy growing.